So guys, today's video was originally going to be on a story uh, from a few years ago of my past about me having to watch zombie porn in a room full of gothic steampunk drug addicts who possibly could have murdered me, uh, but instead I wanted to talk about something a little more serious, something that really I feel personally invested in, uh, and something that I see demonised almost constantly on Twitter and Reddit and stuff like that, uh, and just in the League of Legends community in, in, in particular, uh, with the recent events of Dunkey making that video about how he was going to discontinue making League of Legends content, um, which he's totally built within his rights to do, by the way, and I completely understand where he's coming from, and regardless, I'm going to support Dunkey, you know, forever. Um, I feel like it's something that I want to say a few words about, because it has been bugging me. It's the reaction to this news, amongst other things, that I want to talk about. Now, I don't condone people shit-talking at all, but what really annoys me is the fact that if literally any, any YouTuber or a person of influence actually steps up and defends themselves publicly, suddenly it, it just seems to like make things a hundred times worse for that person because they're supposed to set an example or act professionally. Uh, and I, I have some fucking news, guys. Most of us who are YouTubers or, you know, do YouTube, we're human. Uh, and I know that, I, well, actually, I don't know about that because, you know, I think there, there there may be some fucking reptilians opening accounts here or there. You know, I hear there's uh, this YouTuber called, you know, Leafy is Beefy who uh, is a reptilian, but I, I don't know about that one. So as a human, we all should be held to the same fucking standards as each other. And if you don't shit talk me, I won't shit talk you. Uh, however, if you choose to shit talk me, I feel that I am completely well within my rights to tell you to stick your own head up your ass. And it seems like that's not really allowed anymore. Now, I don't do that, but I could if I wanted to. And I feel like it would not be fair if I wasn't allowed to do that. Now... People will hit out with the, the lines, you're setting a bad example, or you're supposed to be a role model. This is something that people send, t tend to reply with a lot, if a YouTuber or someone else goes in on them. Well, how is this as an example to set? Don't let anyone, and I mean fucking anyone, ever let you feel small. Do not let anyone ever put you down. Do not let anyone ever fucking talk shit to you and do not let them make you feel like you cannot talk back, like you cannot defend yourself, like you are completely fucking hopeless because if you ever did stand up for yourself, it would make things worse. If someone goes out of their way to try and shit on your day, then you have my full fucking fledged permission to go in on that person. Go in on that person. I don't care. I don't care if fucking Barack Obama tweeted at me talking shit, man. I'd be like straight up on that TL, spitting fucking fire at him as well. I know that YouTubers are supposed to be thick-skinned because we're used to it, but um, I'm gonna use a good guy in a, as an example here because honestly, he is taking the brunt of this recent Dunky news and it is so fucking unbelievably undeserved that it, it, it really just makes me disappointed at the community as a whole. Now, I'm sure you've heard the jokes made towards Kiori uh, but honestly, I'm not even going to humour the joke by explaining what the joke is to the people that don't know the joke. Um, but the origin of it is exactly what it sounds like. It's a, it was a joke. However, unbeknown, like I have no idea why it's happened, but people have decided to take that and turn it into something really malicious and really hurtful and really spiteful thing. That seems to be used as ammunition. Um, it's a really fucking toxic, circle jerky little statement that gets thrown at him basically whenever someone has nothing else to say. Uh, and it's literally the one and only bullet in the cartridge um, that people seem to use when they aim at Kyori down their sights for probably little to no reason other than just disliking the videos that he makes. Now, this guy has to sit and read through thousands and thousands of comments week in, week out. Yep, sure, he could just not read comments, close himself off from his comment section. Uh, but considering he's not a terrible YouTuber, he obviously doesn't because his subscribers mean something to him. 
and along with them meaning something to him, their opinions mean a lot to him as well. So if he was to close off his comment section, he would be cutting off an incredibly vital fucking piece of interaction with his subscribers, and it wouldn't just be him that is punished for it, his subscribers would also lose out. They would lose a way of communicating with someone that they support, someone with their, that they're a fan of, someone that they look up to. They would not be able to talk to this person. If they don't use Facebook or Twitter, they are fucked. But obviously, people will see fit to do the best that they can to shit on someone else's day. Uh, so they take to Twitter, which, as you guys know, if you use Twitter, it's, it's, it's easy to use. It doesn't take long to make an account. It's easy to interact with people and to talk to viewers if you are a uh, um, if you're a YouTuber, if you are a celebrity or a person of influence, it's perfect. It doesn't take long to talk to people and you can do it on the go or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, but unlike YouTube, it doesn't have a blacklist, which is uh, like a list of words, like terms or words that would not show up in your comment section. It does not have a function like that. So for him to look through his timeline, and look at his mentions and actually see like the fan arts and the tweets of actually good supportive things that his fans want to send to him, his fans want to talk to him, he has to scroll through shitloads of comments and tweets and mentions that he cannot fucking avoid because they're, people are going out of their way to make sure that he sees them. And quite rightly so, he has snapped on occasion at people for making the joke. Sure you can block people but it's really not that hard to just make a new account and tweet it again. So he has snapped at people and every single time that he's done this, people seem fucking mind blown that someone with this many subscribers would take time out to respond to comments like this. And maybe it's better just to not humour them. It takes a lot of self-restraint not to humour these fucking trolls and haters or whatever. But there is no way that you can justify condemning someone's actions based on the person that it originates from and completely ignoring anyone else. If Kyori is set to the same standard, everyone should be set to that standard. Every single person is set at the same standard and it's not fair to demonize someone for doing exactly what other people are doing to them, really. Another example I want to use is a recent drama that started on Reddit uh, with a friend of mine called Brofresco. Now, I want to say straight off before, if you click off this video as soon as I mention Brofresco, I want you to completely set aside any biases. If you love him, if you hate him, ignore that. Completely ignore that. Pretend it's a person you've never heard of. Pretend it's a person that has nothing to do with League of Legends. It's a blank canvas. It's a blank person because you need to look at this from an outside perspective, okay? So, there was a thread on Reddit that was essentially a thousand plus comments of incredibly hurtful and vulgar things that were posted on it. Later that same day, the actual person who created the thread sent a tweet at Brofresco. Brofresco obviously pissed off that this person who was trying to fucking destroy his career um, told him to fuck off. Now, what happened next was yet another thread of hate messages that got a lot more attention basically held up his tweet that Brofresco made to that guy telling him to fuck off, they held it up and said, look guys, this is a dickhead. Look, we've confirmed it. We knew it all along. We proved that he's a dickhead. We did it, guys. We did it, Reddit. The irony of that fact is that it was such a massive hate thread that was demonising toxicity. Or it was demonising his toxicity that they, they kind of, um, they didn't really see the irony that was being lost in that thread. The one major problem I saw with that thread was that None of the people who had bad interactions with him, they never seemed to realise, like, hold on a minute, he was actually the one being provoked to begin with. I've never seen him go out of his way to shit talk someone. It's always been reactionary. And honestly, um, like, any reasonable person would do exactly the same thing. I know for a fact that Brofesco really genuinely loves his subscribers. And, like, every single time I see people criticise him for being an asshole, they never stop to think, who is he being an asshole to? Literally every time, it's someone who is just out to be an asshole. And Brofresco has said nothing to him. That person has said nothing to Brofresco. But it's just a completely unprovoked comment that obviously is 
reacted to and then blown completely fucking out of proportion. Now, Sky Williams is someone I will fucking respect forever for taking a stand to this shit. Sky, man, I, I don't know if you'll ever watch this video. You probably won't. If by some crazy turn of events this video ends up in a message to you or something like that, um, I just want you to know that you, you've had my respect for a long time, but you are really solidifying that respect in your reaction to some of the stuff being said towards both Dunkey and Kiori. Um, and I can really tell how genuine and how strong you feel through, you know, the, the just the demeanour and, you know, just the, that tone in your voice, that sincere tone in your voice that kind of speaks to the heart. It's, it's the shittiest feeling in the world to see a friend get dumped on for, for, for fucking literally no reason. Um, and he is not afraid to stand up for himself. Sky is not afraid to fucking stand up for himself. And neither should you be. Because it is not toxic to defend yourself. And I promise you that standing up to what are essentially bullies, whether it be online or real life, is, a, is, is something that Sky, me, Profresco, Donkey, anyone can agree with. Um, it isn't something that just applies to YouTubers. But honestly please think before you type something in a chat that might genuinely hurt someone's feelings. Ask yourself the question, do you want to be that guy? Um, I spoke about this before, but it seems like a lot of people really forget that behind these online personas and all this kind of, um, you know, tough guy bullshit, that there is a really fucking real human being who has feelings just like you. And obviously, being a YouTuber, you are far more susceptible, well, not susceptible, you're far more um, open up to, opened up to people for them to actually, you know, go in on you. We all fucking love Wiggle Engines. And is that really fucking not enough? I understand that you might not like every person who does League of Legends videos, but honestly, is it that hard to be civil about it? And if you can't find that little fucking bit of humanity inside yourself uh, that stops you from being a complete dick to someone, uh, guess what? Don't suddenly get up in arms uh, and try and fucking goon squad someone uh, for treating you exactly the same way that you treated them. I'm really sorry that this is kind of maybe cutting into my regular content. I promise you more videos tomorrow and every day from there on out. Uh, but um, it hurts to see people that I care about getting really hurtful things said towards them um and yeah sorry just don't fucking be afraid to stand up for yourself honestly and if if someone is giving you shit on twitter <laughs> then you come to me and i'll sort their ass out i promise